Hello, Internet. We're back with more Dave the Diver because I didn't have anything better to do today. I guess last time we were either threatened by pirates or by those eco goons. It was kind of hard to tell. They're sort of built the same way. Maybe they're the same people. Oh no. Wouldn't that be shocking? Anyway, I'm just glad I didn't spend any money on renovating the uh, sushi bar, because it's probably going to get blown up. That's my prediction. Also, we managed to get an extra day to get this guy's sea grapes, but we took care of those already. So I basically got nothing to do other than going deeper into the water. What? Can we afford a gun yet? We can build a gun! If we really want to. It does less damage per shot, but if you hit with all three... Can we upgrade this? Is that what the craft here means? Eh, we'll stick with the basic. Oh, you can own more than one. Never mind. Does that mean we can get a gun stolen? Hey, Bokker. I'm trying to make purchasing decisions, and generally, if I don't know that I want to buy something, I just won't buy it. Let's see, we can get more air. That would help a lot. Yeah, let's do that. That's pretty cheap, too. So, have you gotten to do anything interesting today? Oh, cool! It's a post from the party last night. Bustling. Still doesn't greet customers, just prepares food. Hi, Electron. Vopker hasn't done anything interesting yet today. Implying there's still time. Over time, even the most unchanging of people will soften. Perhaps it's just it's the company you keep. I'm not sure, Yoshia. I'm pretty sure Boncho sort of proves that wrong. Right, let's just dive. Um, the only mission we've got right now is going to the depths, so we're just collecting fish and seeing what kind of stuff we find. And there's already stuff, right there. Oh no. Wait. So it was you, the one who's been harming the ocean. You even vomited, you disgusting creature. Wait, that wasn't me, that was whales. Don't you know about whale vomit? I have no time for your petty excuses. Now that you've been caught by John Watson of Sea Blue, the Guardians of the Sea, you won't be leaving so easily. Is he gonna kill me with a grenade or something? Yeah, that looks like a grenade. <laughs> he grenaded the fish. Oh, my Poseidon. This is all your fault. You did this to the precious sea. You're the one shooting bombs. And all I do is catch a few fish to keep the restaurant running. Why don't you look into the fishing vessels responsible for catching thousands of fish, not individual divers like me? I could I could rant about Omega Protein right now. And how they had a specific exception carved into certain Chesapeake Bay environmental laws to allow them to catch as many menhaden as they wanted to. Which are like the basis of the food chain. Thankfully, they lost that exception a couple years ago, but they're still whiny that they don't get to catch as many fish as they want. Anyway, I'm not going to do that. I don't need to talk about real fish. We got fake fish to turn into sushi. Enough blabbing. I'll shut that yapper yours. Yeah, John. No one wants to listen to me. Here goes. John Watson enters the ring. A 
Okay, gun. It's like turn based, basically. Ah, blood in the water now. Woof. Ah, oh, he got me that time. He can shoot two, three. We Splatoon 3 now. And I'm out of bullets. Ooh, he led that shot. Did I win? Gah, how dare you fight back against me, John Watson formerly of the Navy SEALs. You sound like you need a friend, John. You sound like you want me to know more about you. What? That should serve as an adequate warning, so I'll back away for now to protect the environment. But I won't let you go unpunished if you persist in damaging the ocean. We are watching you. Oh, that made my avatar freak out. Underwater fight's pretty sick. Yeah, that was pretty cool. A little challenging, but they don't expect too much out of me right away. I mean, I guess we already did that one fight with the pirates. There were three of them. A path has opened up in the direction of John Watson's escape. Let's go that way to reach the signal. Except I'm almost out of oxygen. And unless this thing contains... That's a gun. Unless this thing contains an oxygen refill, we're done. And it does! So, I guess we're going. We can already make the triple axle. I'll switch back to harpoons. Alright, so what we need to find is... More oxygen. Boom. And some fish for uh, tonight's dinner. Batfish! No, 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 no. Triggerfish. Bring back Camp Triggerfish, you cowards. Doesn't seem like much is up with Electron today. He's just here to hang out. If I could offer you guys some, uh... Bean noodles, I would, but I don't have any. I should go check if I have it. Actually, um... I just got a bunch of Indonesian noodles. Katana! Again! Dive, dive, dive. Alright, we got him. And there's another batfish over here. And then I guess we're gonna catch this guy. Yay. Electron's just waking up. Ah. So yeah, whole day ahead of you. Black 
black and white snapper. How's my weight? We can hold six kilograms more stuff. Let's catch this guy. Since they can't really bully me anymore. Oh no! <laughs> okay, maybe you can bully me a little bit. Some bullying is allowed. Uh, two kilograms. I think we have some of y'all in stock. Okay, if we catch one more of them, we're gonna be running out of a... Uh, we'll only be a little overweight. Just a little. And look, he's trapped himself. Never mind, that didn't work. So unless the... Harpoon can get to its full length. We can't actually... Catch our critters. If this is a good gun, we can get more blueprints at least. No, it's just triple axle again. Alright. Well, that's, I guess, all we're getting out of this dive. Maybe second dive of the day, we'll get down to the uh, sea people. Hmm. Hey, it's Sato. Yeah, we. You seem energetic today. I saw a boss card acquisition notification pop up in your Marine card account. Are you stalking me? It's this giant squid boss card. An abnormally large squid. Despite its soft body, it has a sharp beak. It reeks of ammonium chloride, making it difficult to eat. Mm. How did you get this? It's such a rare card. Oh, mm. uh, well, I was just on my way to pick up a delivery, and as chance would have it, wonder if his last name is Kaito. Not Kaiba. Sato Kaiba. That would be a decent pun. Mixing up our uh, monster catching games. Collecting games. Okay, I don't have a clue what that means, but in any case, you've made amazing progress. <laughs> Try collecting all the rare boss cards. Something good's sure to happen. Oh, and if you venture to new regions, for example the depths, the automatic marine card AI system will unlock a new card pack. For some reason, this fish scale pattern just really made me think of Spongebob. Do they use this in Spongebob? This font is very Spongebob. Don't forget to collect fish cards in the new regions as well. Choo -choo. Goodbye then, choo choo. Entering a new region will open up a new card pack list. Use a marine card app to check out the new fish. Nah, I'd rather not. I'm not sure where we're going with this game, actually. Like, eventually we're gonna have a successful... restaurant. It's fairly automated. And we'll have discovered the sea people. Probably make friends with them. Fine, you wanna live by yourself? Huh, scrap iron only weighs that much. Ooh, sesame seeds. We can make slightly more garnish sushi now. Alright, that's probably enough minor fish. 
rope weighs one kilo or point one kilograms. Let's see if we can get a better gun. Or something for our gun research. Small net gun. Captures seven fish at the same time. Looking forward to night sails, you could say. So how many bullets do I have on this? Two? That seems fairly inefficient, honestly. All right, well, we're out of gun. Maybe we'll find a better one. What kind of shiny is this? Brown seashell? I guess we need those. Upgrade parts. Alright, let's keep going deeper so we can catch... Ooh, catch you. The hunters become the hunted! Alright, got him this time. Should probably not test my luck too much with the shark. I'm glad this is a cheap keyboard, or else I'd feel a lot worse about that mashing. Could you not? Thank you, shark, for leaving me alone. We can only hold three more kilograms worth of stuff. So I should probably replace my net gun with something more... shooty. How much does grips weigh? We can afford that. Oh yeah, we got that headlamp. We did all that, you know, fetch questing and fighting that giant squid thing. So that we could have a headlamp. Nice. How much? Ooh. I mean, this isn't where we're supposed to go, but... Gold. Treasure, right? Oh, this is just the same records room. For some reason, oh, we do lose oxygen in here. We didn't before, but now we do. Doesn't seem to be any goodies in here either. Well, that was sort of a waste of time, but um, knowledge. Power. Then you get the money. And then you get the women. I'll leave that wood for now. Can't really afford to pick up more fish. You're on a mission. Go oh, cool. That helps with our mission right there. 
We got an escape route. We don't have to go that much deeper, right? What's our maximum operating depth at this point? Like... 180? Please be more oxygen. It's a pickaxe. I don't think we can afford to carry a pickaxe. On the other hand... Well, un I'll, eh, that will unlock its, like... Oh, hey, it's a sea angel, sea butterfly. Cleone. I can't zoom in, but you'll have to trust me. It's a little Cleone. It's got a cute little heart and everything. Whoa! Okay, you don't seem friendly. That's bad. This might be an oxygen refill. If it is, we're good. Okay, what's this thing? UV light. Makes tube fins briefly hide. God, we were so close. And then we got attacked by a fish. It's a lot easier to understand kind of fishing disaster, or diving disaster than most, where it's like, oh no, he got his gas mix wrong, and he hallucinated and died. This is just like, nah, fish got him. No explanation needed. And also, we didn't die, so... As far as underwater diving disasters go, that's not that bad. Now we got a fang tooth. Only one bit of fang tooth meat, but we got him. All right, sushi time. Or we could check our phone. Is there anything on here we need to check? Mari car? Fangtooth. A black fish with a large jaw and sharp teeth. Its body tapers off towards its tail and is measured around 16 centimeters. It lives at depths of 200 meters or greater and feeds on zooplankton, squid, deep sea fish, and Dave. So if we turn in these auger, we get fish points. Still don't know what the fish points do. But now we're level up on Eco Watcher. A hey, Eco Health bracelet. What's that do? I forget what we look at our inventory. <laughs> Um, what's here, right? Survive for a certain period after running out of oxygen. Swim faster, but we'll use up more oxygen. Eco bracelet. Reduces damage taken by 10%. Er, that seems pretty good. But this lets us dodge better? Usually we run out of action because we got hurt. There. Got a little armor. And now we can go make sushi. Kind of glad that John, what's his face, decided to um, attack me in the water instead of bombing our sushi restaurant. You know, Dave, Dave grows back. Sushi restaurant takes money to rebuild. 
Anyway, Yui from Star the Chef. Now, we're back at Bancho Sushi. What kind of sushi will the chef prepare, I wonder? I have prepared jellyfish sushi. Jellyfish? You mean like in Chinese cold vegetables? Do you think you can win the acknowledgement of Vincent Yamaoka while ignoring the traditional ingredients? No way! You call yourself a gourmet. Well, you ch judge before you've even tasted it. Uh, all right. Bring it over then. All right. I'll bring you one serving of jellyfish sushi. Oh no, he's gonna hook to sweet in on this. Hokuto Oken? I liked how the uh, waitress just looked at Dave like, um, this is your problem. You... you deal with this. Wow, so this is jellyfish? The flesh is transparent. The white dots are pretty as well. What? You made it with bunched rice? You should have made sure it didn't scatter by making... Gunkan Maki instead. Is that the ones where, like, you wrap the rice in, like, a tire shape of seaweed and then you put the stuff on top of the rice? Whatever. It'll dry up. Hurry up and eat. It's already been seasoned. Hmm. I know it can't possibly taste good, but since it's for the program, I'll try it. Well, since it's for the program, you should have shut up and just tried it already. Like, now you're making the viewers uncomfortable, buddy. Vincent. Vince. Vince, baby. The ghosts of the jellyfish have conquered Vincent's personality. He is now their robot. This is amazing! I can taste the sea as soon as I bite into it, and the jellyfish is nice and firm. Have you ever eaten jellyfish? I've eaten jellyfish. Straight out of the river. They taste like river water, because they're mostly water. He basically just ate expensive... water. And I sent something popping inside. Could it be flying fish row? Wait, they're bigger than that. Caviar? No, that would have killed the jellyfish flavor. Could it be? <laughs> yes, I added some sea grape below the jellyfish. <laughs> Firm jellyfish flesh and sea grape, huh? <laughs> this is... the sea! I taste the sea! The sea where the sea kelp sway! Yeah, because you basically just ate a bunch of seawater, dude! <laughs> Ugh. I can't help but admit it. The sushi is amazing, based on a very deep understanding of the ingredients. Yummy seawater. Hey, you know, seawater and rice is good. Who doesn't like salty rice? With some kelp around it. And some, like... Nidarians to give it some texture. At least it's textured seawater. There's that. Hmm. Why is it that you use such unknown ingredients instead of proven ones? <laughs> the first reason is the taste. <laughs> Jellyfish has a mild, gentle taste with a strong texture, making it a perfect match for the scent and flavor of sea grape. The second reason is the potential. There are so many kinds of ingredients out there. Insisting on using only the verified few is the same as ignoring the infinite possibilities. Thank you for those amazing words, Boncho. Now then, it's time for the evaluation. Vincent? All right, let's get into the evaluation. Now, this is the jellyfish sushi that made Vincent marvel, and Mr. Boncho who created this dish. What will the score be? I'll give Boncho sushi 80 points. Out of 10, right? Huh? Isn't that too low? You looked quite impressed while eating. Listen, the sushi was excellent. This establishment lacks something, though. Eating combines many enjoyments. To think you'd only offer green tea with this beautiful ocean in front of us. Romance! This place doesn't have enough romance and appreciation for the arts! You really gonna do this on Valentine's Day, Vincent? That's why I give this place 80 points. As a side reward, however, I'll give you a refrigerator. That's cool! I'll take a free refrigerator, those are expensive. 
Being able to drink cold beer from that fridge will make the score 100. It'll be perfect. We had beer last night, though. Did someone just go to the corner store and bring beers to the sushi restaurant? What are all these bottles up here, then? Can we drink these? Where are we getting the water for the tea? It can't be seawater. Answers these questions and more are coming never, probably. Wow, as expected of you, Vincent. That was an excellent opinion. Now, how did you like Star the Chef today? We'll be really looking forward to Bancho Sushi's exotic sushi being served with beer. Electrons assuming those are either decorative or their sauces and oils. It's like a college kid's dorm room. He just keeps all the liquor bottles up on a top shelf. They're empty. But for some reason, he wants to hang on to them. See you again next time, Heart. This was Reporter Yui. We got 50 likes on Insta. I mean, Cooksta. That's pretty cool. Surely 50 likes will make a difference in our company's fortunes. Customers now can order beer after their meal, pour them their drinks, and create additional revenue. Or so it's about 20% foam. Man, now I gotta learn how to pour a different drink. I already got my tea skills down. That's life though, right? Constantly learning, constantly improving. You gotta try new things. You can't just get complacent and comfortable. That leads to stagnation and no beer. Mm -hmm. Wow, Boncho, amazing. That picky Vincent acknowledged you. The tongue does not lie. I'm pretty sure my tongue lies sometimes. Vincent has a point. Shall we try selling beer from now on? So where do I get the beer? I guess from, from here? From the fridge? Oh, we got conditions on our Cooksta rating. Rank up. We need to get 125 taste, whatever that means. That means we just run the best restaurant we can and we'll worry about 30. That's more expensive than most of our sushi. Okay, we can definitely upgrade our blue tang now. It only brings in one more dollar. Gold coin, whatever. It's not about the money, it's about making quality food. It's about proving to God that we can best him with his own materials. There we go, best deal on the menu every night. Come and get it. What do we got a lot of? We got a lot of these guys because I definitely caught a lot. Well, that makes them pretty acceptable. So they're still only half as good as a blue tang. But sure, we can put them out now. They're good enough. Oops. Um, white Trevally is not very good, but it is very expensive. If we enhance it, though, it goes up by a lot. Now we can still sell that. We can sell this. It's 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 acceptable. Okay, clownfish sushi. People order clownfish sushi just because it sounds crazy. But it's only two gold. Let's not. We just caught all the- wow, that's expensive.
We can make it even better, though. Okay, so there's like the secret amazing thing on the menu that's only slightly better than the best deal. Um, what else we got? Bat fish? Mm, we got a lot of trigger fish. Let's enhance this. Why am I making all this really good sushi that's really cheap? This is not good for profits. I just said why. Because it's about making good food. We might at some point want to hire more staff. So we can't unlock any skills on them. Have I played Slime Rancher before? I have not. The slimes are cute. I don't know really anything about it other than that. Hey, Plebe King and Plebe King Raiders. Hola, Rushy. Let's see if we can hire a new uh, staff member. We'll even pay for better. <laughs> Plebe Raid. Hi, Zenbus. Cronex. Plebe King, presumably. Uh, if you haven't been here before, I'm Juicebox. I'm a blue crab, and right now I'm making sushi. Well, I mean, I'm not. Boncho's making sushi, but um, we're kind of like the manager, which is... You know. Oh, that's an ad. Apply now! Cool, so maybe we'll have some promising recruits tomorrow, but now it's time to serve food. And beer, and other things. Hajime! Someone always wants tea first. There we go. Uh... Did I not give them the right amount? Oh, that's too much! Okay, I gotta, gotta focus a little bit. Pronounced like ebb and flow, pleb. I see. Well, pleb king. Nice to have you here. No, they're all the way at the end. Poor Dave. We're giving him a cardio workout today. Beer. Okay, I spilled a little- No! That was perfect! Oh, I'm sorry, dude. He didn't get his after-meal beer. Pleb's off to work. Have a good day at work. Um, there we go. I probably don't need to make more wasabi right now. Oh, hi, Pleb. Thanks for the follow there. Yeah, normally I play Splatoon, but right now we're trying to get through, uh... Dave the Diver and Chef, the actual main character. Yeah. So, how do we do money-wise? Uh... Okay. We did okay. Should probably upgrade some, like, recipes with those artisan flames. <laughs> Yui love. It's a little... self congratulate Yeah, congratulatory. But, uh... Ooh, that does look nice. 
Sushi in the moonlight is twice as good. The sweet and sour gets your appetite going. Just like, that just seaweed with sesame seeds on it. This place impressed even Vincent. A pick to remember. Well, like that, because we're trying to ingrate ourselves with people who are, like, bigger talents. You know? Ride some coattails. They have a TV show. We don't. Coder C. He's probably a, you know, works in the information, the IT industry. Probably got money. Let him know we appreciate him and his money. Now, if I want, I could make the sniper rifle, but we need iron ore. Which I have not been collecting, because, you know, iron is a lot heavier than fish. But, we can greatly increase our carrying capacity. Might be nice. Let's do that. Now we don't have to worry so much, and we can catch more fish, catch more fish. Lives in the Western Pacific, and also this magical blue hole, with fish from around the world. Sanji's dream come true and all that. Sometimes I think I should catch back up on One Piece, but on the other hand, it's been 10 years. How much does wood weigh? 0.2 kilograms. How about gun? Just level 2 gun. I'll take level 2 gun. Alright, that should be enough for now. Let's see if we can catch something a little bit more exotic. A little something, something a little deeper. Bats. Eh, we'll take a bat. Let's beat fish. Let's beat fish. Dun, 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 beat fish. See, if I was a good streamer, I'd come up with like a little theme song for all these fish. But I'm just not that smart or talented. Rope? Don't know if we need rope. Another random item. Scooter. These guys sold pretty sold pretty well, right? No, bad. We need to focus on getting deep. Finding the sea people treasures or whatever. Stuff that's just down here. I play too much Splatoon, though, to not go for the squid. It's two on brand. Barracuda, why you gotta be like this? Let's 
Splat attack intensifies. Da -na 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 -na. Nope. Out of range. Come back. Don't you want to go with your friend? Do you want your friend to be lonely in the sushi case? A weapon that pulls enemies towards you would be cool. Maybe for something... Oh, yeah! Yeah, like for um, a roller or a... Um, a splatana would probably really like that. Alright, we're almost full up. We've been collecting things a little bit haphazardly. So from now on, we're only catching fish that we need to out of, like, self-defense. Or whatever this is. This is cool looking. I want this. Oh, it's just oxygen. That's a little silly. <laughs> it's a little silly. Throw it at an enemy and it does very little damage, but it yanks them towards you. And stuns them for a few frames. Oh, if it stuns them for a few frames, then yeah. That would almost have to be a special. Okay, we cannot catch the Cleone. What's this? Rope. And that guy is hostile. So we are going to shoot him. Okay, that's three bullets to the face. All right. What about a new Nintendo grabby hands platana that can pull enemies towards you on a full charge? That would be a cool gimmick. That would really differentiate it from the other ones. I'm gonna get my gun back out. <laughs> we don't know what's down here. Whatever we want is like right down there. Oh, we got some glass sponges too. Don't forget that we have an extra oxygen tank. Hmm. Oh no, two worms are blocking my path. What do I do? The same grabby hands that hold up the one Mario Kart track? The, uh, what's it called? The super grabber or something. It's super something. Super hand? Could have two charges, like the GooTuber. One charge for a regular charge slash, two charges for a grab. As long as the second charge is really slow. <laughs> Dr. Bacon, I have two words block my path. Is there a solution? Yeah, it's called a UV light. We already found this. Hmm, let's see. Right, two worms are said to hate UV light and will shrink away from it. One might be nearby. Try opening any chests nearby. And there's our UV light. So let's, uh, R button. Refill our oxygen. And now we have the UV light. If you can't find one, maybe you try a melee attack. So how do we use our light? Scroll wheel? That, oh, cool, it recharges. That's handy. And we got extra oxygen right here. 
Probably not a lot. Nintendo Iris. Huh? It's the sea people from before. But there's also an anomalous Karis looking thing on the background. So have they been in the sea that long? Like, long before mammals existed? Some sort of weird divergent or convergent evolution that's been going on since before the Devonian? Let's not think about it too much. Wow, sea people! That's the level of thought. Wow! That's what's necessary here. You're saying a lot of words, and I don't know what they mean. I'll have to call Dr. Bacon. My goodness, wow! See, exactly, that's the level of thought we're supposed to be at. To, to think sea people were real, it's simply incredible. Hmm, they're saying something to me, but I can't understand them. Hmm, I think analyzing the patterns might allow us to translate. Yeah, let's use some AI BS. Come back up to the boat for now. I'll try to think of a way to translate. Can I go bother them? Hi. Sounds like you just said, who are you? Come on, Dave, you must enslave them like the anime One Piece. No! I can't understand what it's saying. I should go to Dr. Bacon first. What's in the box? More oxygen. We don't need that. We'll be able to get back just fine. Bonk. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> kind of weird that the tube worms can sense UV light. Like, that they have any sort of receptors for that? Since down here, UV light would not... Oh, cool. Emergency exit. Any treasures, though? Was this? Iron? I mean, you know, might as well grab extra stuff. And we're out, somehow. Not sure how that works, exactly, but... We're only on chapter two. Hmm, I did expect the sea people to be real, but to think there are living sea people. Ah, okay, I can get that now. It'll be a little messed up if... You know, Dr. Bacon was sending me down to the bottom of the ocean to investigate things he didn't think was real. But he was just confused. He just thought they weren't still alive, which makes total sense. Because if they were still around, why wouldn't we have seen them before? This is truly the find of the century. This is thanks to you, Dave. He gives me olive oil and black pepper from the grocery store. Ha <laughs> ha Let's tell all the news outlets in the world about this! Wait, I think that might be risky. But why? That's how we'll get people flocking to this place! It wouldn't matter if we were talking about some ruins, but these are living sea people. Poachers are bound to show up. They'll start hunting the sea people. Oh no, Reshi, you were right. Since that would be a way to get a lot of attention. You have a point there. How about we first make a translator to analyze their sound waves and figure out what they're saying? I think they have something to tell us. We'll first need a Sea People Stone tablet with their writing on it. As well as a microphone and an amethyst. Why the amethyst? 
If I'm guessing right, the microphone should be below the sunken ship, and the stone tablet is likely to be in their record chamber. I hear you can mine amethyst at 100 meters or deeper with a pickaxe. Mmm, mm, the record chamber, the ship, and... Aha, if you can't remember the locations, check the to-do app. I'll add the information here. Oh, wait, so I was gonna get that amethyst, but then we got attacked by a fish. We can make that into a rhyming couplet, but I don't want to, because rhyming couplets are terrible. Sea people, language translator. Do I know Udo? Wait, can I have a moment with you? Yes, I'm sorry, you are? Teehee, I should introduce myself first. I'm a reporter for the magazine Weekly Fish. The name is Udo. I know that Udo is, a me is an edible medicinal plant, but I have no idea what it tastes like. Oh, I've read that magazine too. It covers unique fish species. <gasps> oh, you have? That's right. Yeah. I heard that the blue hole is home to a variety of fish species. Is that true? Mm. You could say that. There are all kinds of fish species from around the world here. Mm. Oh, I knew it. So I've come to the right place. Yeah. I'd love to take pictures myself for the magazine, but <gasps> unfortunately, I can't dive. Then what's your... What should bring the camera for, then? Uh. Speaking of which, would you help me take some pictures? <laughs> pictures? Uh. Yes, see, you have that nice camera over there. Yeah. Oh, it's the one from Dr. Bacon. <laughs> but I'm no expert in photography. I'm not sure if I'm good enough. <laughs> Don't worry. If you're a reader of Weekly Fish, you will get a feel for what kind of fish to photograph. <laughs> and of course, I'll reward you. If you take a nice picture, ha ha! Well, if you say so. Alright, it'll be nice to make a record of this amazing world. So, if we just see the camera thingy, we take pictures now? Okay. I can probably upgrade my equipment a little bit more now. Still can't make the gun. We can make the triple axle. And if I make the triple axle, we could probably make an upgraded one. But... That takes all my copper. So the next cheapest thing to do is upgrade our air tank. So let's do that. And then next time, I guess we'll increase... Oh, that almost doubles our carrying capacity. Screw it. We're doing this. All right, now we can catch all we want. All right, one more dive. If we find a microphone, that's good. Let's keep catching our blue tangs, because we have a weird restaurant. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, so each of these copper ores is almost a half a kilo. It's a bit heavy, but we've got plenty more carrying capacity now. And a bat. Don't really need brown seashells. We will, however, go for gun. Poison harpoon. That seems... Not like a healthy thing to shoot at fish we're going to feed people.
Come on, you don't want your friends to be lonely. Get him a backpack. Soy sauce. Okay, you don't have to mash that too hard. Caught these before? Striped red mullet. My keyboard is falling out of my lap, which is making that even harder. <laughs> That looks suspicious. Not the kelp. I'm, I'm saying this thing. This, this what looks like a door. Bop. So lead also weighs almost half a kilogram. How are we doing on weights? Still pretty good. Long distance scooter. Much appreciated. Uh-oh. What's with that strange coral? The coral's breathing! Oh, it's just an octopus. Don't you get too close to me, Octopus. I know what you guys like to do. I think it's funny to pull people's... What? Masks off? Did it sound like that Octopus just made a noise? I don't really want to... This seems kind of cruel and awful. Finally caught up. You stay right. That octopus is definitely making noises. Uh oh. I'm gonna escape through a door crack. Um, I don't think I can fit in there. Come to think of it, I could probably use the gas cutter from Duff to cut my way in. Just you wait, octopus. Octopus! Alright, minigame time. Be very careful. There's a lot of energy and technology going into chasing down an octopus. Dave knows how to do this. It's kind of like... Did he used to do underwater welding or unwelding? Is that why he knows how to dive? Perfect! I'ma get you, octopus. You! You've got nowhere to run now. Give up! Like you understand English, octopus. Guess I'll have octopus sashimi for dinner. <laughs> Can't cut my way into that hole. Or can I? Ah, uh, it escaped again. It's so quick. Huh? It dropped something. No, that was here. That was already here. Rusty octopus bracelet. Seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. 
So an octopus bracelet, you would think that would give me like camouflage or capac carrying capacity or tentacles. What color seashell is this? Blue. We don't need those, but I grabbed it anyway. Wait. Some sort of weird skeleton here. Leg bone. Brown seashells. Fragment. Can use that. Good enough. Hopefully that ink blinds the saw shark as well, but it's not going to really. He's probably like sensing me electrically. Leave me alone. I mean, you put a gun somewhere like this. Lightning charged. I know I'm taking my time here a little bit, but... Why upgrade your oxygen if you don't take your time sometimes? There, we even got fresh. So, did we get somewhere interesting? We got somewhere with a very large shark in it. That's what we got. Time to pick a stupid fight! Okay, he's way faster than me. This is a problem. This was a mistake. The Barracuda is actually kind of holding him back. Not anymore, it ain't. Okay, I think he's given up on me. Well, that was cool. It's a very different kind of little quick time event. Alright, it feels like the boat should be around here somewhere. Got a fresh submersible. This rock is moving. There's a little shrimp right there. We 
We've almost filled up on junk, and I have not found the boat. That is our team. Bonito. It's like a little type of tuna. Ah, oh, here's the boat. We found the boat. Underbar. Now we just gotta find the microphone. Don't see anyone hostile in here. That's good. Don't really have the capacity for more Benitos. There we go. Now we just need the amethyst ore and the sea people stone slab. We're basically full up, so uh, I'm still gonna catch you because I'm mean. That's a mackerel. It's not even the same kind of fish. We will save this other scooter in case the big scary shark is out here. So we can get away from it quickly. He is back. Let's get out of here before he notices us. And we're out. New best time. And our octopus band does what? Use control to dash a short distance. That doesn't sound very useful. Especially since I have to move my finger to a new button. I'm sure someone will tell us it's useful. No auction is used, but the gauge needs to fill again for the ability to be reused. I can see that being handy. Uh, Dave, are you busy? Not at the moment. What is it? Mm. We have a strange customer at the sushi bar. <laughs> Can you come over for a moment? As the manager, this is something I can't overlook. I'll come over right away. A noisy customer. Hey, we can hire some new guys. We want this old dude. Raul. You can collect condiments by dispatching people. Raul is very expensive. But look at his stats. Come on. It's an investment. You are our new best employee, Raul. Oh god, look at this guy. Aniki, 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 Tomatashi. Hmm, are you exercising? All energy comes from the muscles. I didn't know we could talk to the staff. Wow, how managerial of me. 
Opening only for the evening, but I'm too exhausted at such a late hour. Ooh. Customers have been flooding in lately. Are they fascinated by my beauty? Uh, uh who dares interrupt me? Mm. I'm sorry, we're not open yet. You can't come in like this. Mm. Well, aren't you strict? I was simply saying a few words. I haven't been to the beach in a while and it brings back old memories. <laughs> I was an amazing diver before I took a harpoon to the knee. So you were a diver. I'm also a diver. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> then you must know the diver's dream of swimming in all the seas of the world. <laughs> Forests of coral, pods of sperm whales, fights to the death with tiger sharks. Mm. Mm. That brings to mind a dish I'd really love to eat. What dish do you mean? Mm. When I was little, the moray eel curry at my fishing village was famous. Mm. I can't forget its taste. If you can make that dish, perhaps. I'll give you a nice gift. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> moray eel curry. Moray eels hide in the rocks, making them difficult to catch. How do you get one? Hehe, <laughs> you know how to dive. But you don't know much of the ecology, do you? Moray eels are nocturnal and only come out at night. Do you have gear for night diving? Uh, I did get a flashlight recently. That should do just fine. Moray eel's nocturnal. Please go night diving and catch a moray eel to fulfill my wish. Hmm, I haven't gone diving at night for a while. Maybe I'll try it. You can now dive once every night. There are many vicious nocturnal fish at night. But you'll also see exotic fish. Always pay attention to the sushi bar's opening hours. So can we upgrade our cooksta ranking yet? We got a silver trophy. We've been recognized. Um, when did we do that? Five days ago, so don't remember that at all. Um, uh, right, don't need to be fiddling my phone. We need to be getting the menu ready. Or I can go on a night dive, catch more eels. Maybe I should have set the menu before I left. No, 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 no. They won't open without me. They wouldn't open without me. Oh yeah, there's a jellyfish event. We should be collecting jellyfish. Clear fin lionfish. Okay, they really make you mash the buttons, but we just got to find ourselves a Mora eel and shoot it. Small net gun, that's not going to do it. Oh, even the puffer fisher? Even the puffer fish are hostile at night. I see a shark. 
And we don't want to deal with the shark. What is this? Rope. I heard something spooky. Usually the mora eels, at least during the daytime, hang out in little, like, corners. So we're gonna try to find a corner. Just don't, don't notice me. Ignore me! Shock bang stick. That works. Okay, there's our escape route. This looks like somewhere a Mora Eel might hang out. But no. They got all these little bits of floaty stuff that just zip across the screen to try to jump scare me. Generally, more eels weren't that deep down. But maybe if it's nighttime, they go deeper? I shouldn't have researched more eel curry. That was my first mistake. Okay, maybe we got a gun here. Enhanced. Enhanced harpoons, enhanced harpoon. Oh, is that a Humboldt squid? Cat food. Cat food? Should I give it to Momo? Is that the cat's name? Where'd that Humboldt squid go? I'm gonna catch you. Just a spear squid. Come on, Moray Eel. You gotta be around here somewhere, except you don't actually. More bones? What bone? Halfway. There's a big old shark. Let's give him a bit of a wide berth. How about this? Poison harpoon. Nope. Keep on with the enhanced. That looks like a place that we might find one. Oh, we would have had to fight the big old shark. Okay, quick sub. That will help. If we can find the stupid eel... Here, Moray eel. Come on. It's gotta be one of you out here somewhere. Saw shark. Not gonna go close to him if we can help it. Oh! 
Doesn't even show you as hostile. But he does attack. Alright, let's go ahead and use our oxygen. Get some more bones. Hey, skull. Gun, gun, gun. Hush dart. Doesn't do damage. Makes him go to sleep. I mean, we got squid. That's kind of cool. Collecting some new squid ingredients. Squid ingredients. R switches, okay. Can we go in here? Well, we can, but it doesn't do anything. There's another gun. I mean, I gotta catch him or else they're gonna kill me, right? Kill or be killed, eat or be eaten, that sort of thing. They don't look friendly. They also don't look like more eels. This could be somewhere where a more eel would hang out. Tennis racket. Strong knockback. Now I'll skip that. Black vinegar, that's pretty good. Refill our oxygen while we're at it. Y'all stay away from me. I guess they marked the little fish as hostile just because it was so crazy that they would be. Yeah, there we go. Now let's try to get out of here. Hopefully these little fish up here are not hostile. Because if they are, I am so dead. Hopefully this cave leads out. crazy that this uh, jellyfish has blood. Box jellyfish, but like a really, really big one. I don't think box jellyfish get that big. Any, like any species of 10 of 4 gets that big. But, you know, the ocean's a crazy, mysterious place. We found something about bones. So we still need pink seashells. We should also be collecting starfish.
All right, now we serve some sushi. And we got some new weird critters to serve. How are we gonna make curry though if we don't have curry powder? Oh no, let's hang on to that because we'll need it for the festival. Okay, so as always, we've got blue tang. It would cost all of the ones we have to increase it and it just doesn't get that much better. So let's just go with what we got. Frogfish. Batfish. Can we enhance the batfish? Yeah, let's enhance, let's enhance the batfish. Oof. That's almost acceptable. Okay, 50 is good enough. We'll put them on the menu. All two of them. What's something we got a lot of? Titan Triggerfish. It's already at 60. Well, we can make it 80. Yeah. So that's slightly better. Not as good a deal as the blue tang, but... Okay, we gotta put the eel curry on here. You can go over 100, but we don't need to go over 100. And we've got black and white snapper. Put her that on the menu. So we've got 10, 20, 32 servings of sushi for tonight. Our staff is all set up. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's serve some sushi, and some tea, and some beer. I mean, I went diving specifically for this guy, so... Dun dun! <laughs> That's great. But now I need to get this guy tea. <laughs> oh, that's the taste I remember. That's cool, dude, but I need to serve customers. I'm glad you like it, though. The food brings up memories. One time, a young man who lived with a sick mother in my village was bitten by a moray eel, keeping them from going into the sea any longer. I was 12 then, and I went out into the pitch black darkness and plunged a harpoon into that moray eel's gills. I brought them the dead moray eel, and the mother made me moray curry and thanks. <laughs> Thinking of that woman's kind eyes brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> In any case, thanks for the food. That was some fantastic cooking. Oh, right. I said I'd tell you something nice, right? Nearly forgot amid all that nostalgia. <laughs> Come see me in the empty lot behind this building. That's, that's a little sus, dude. Good. Good. Do we need to make any more 
Wasabi? No, because we only had a two-thirds the opening time tonight. Ah, I gave someone a bad beer, though. Whatever, made money. Friday the 14th. Oh, right, Otto. I guess I didn't see you behind the, um, the shed there. Did you sleep well? Yesterday I told you I'd tell you something good. <laughs> Take the boat and come behind the restaurant. Mysterious fish thing. Wah. Fish farm. Whoa, what is this place? <laughs> Looks like you're doing quite a lot of hard work catching fish every day. So I got to making a fish farm and man finished it in a single day yesterday. What? A single day? In any case, this is where you can grow fish and let them multiply. I'll explain slowly, so listen closely. First, come over to the fish section. Fish farms need to have the right environments for the fish. Each section has fish from a different depth. This is where you can grow fish that lives at depths of 0 to 50 meters. Each section has limited space, and once the density reaches 100, no more fish can fit. <laughs> Of course, you can pay a bit of money to expand them. Eh, eh, eh. Each section is equipped with its own camera, so you can look inside. Now, come along. Beesh. Nice, isn't it? I added a few fish to start you off. Oh, it's like an aquarium. Just staring into the water is enough to make you all peaceful inside. But that isn't the purpose of this fish farm, of course. I'll teach you how to pluck them out so they can be eaten. Pay attention. Fish in the fish farm can be sent to Bancho Sushi to be used as ingredients or sold directly. <laughs> Even if you fail to catch fish because you're so busy exploring, you won't need to worry. But how do we add fish to the farm? Simply catching them will kill them. Good question. You can farm them by collecting fish eggs. If you capture some fish alive, you'll sometimes get fish eggs. Those eggs will automatically be sent here. Oh, and one more thing. If you have two or more of the same type, they can multiply. Oh, I see. Like Pokemon. I've placed two fish each, so you should be able to see the results tomorrow. <laughs> Try coming back tomorrow. Okay. When catching fish, you'll sometimes acquire fish eggs. Fish eggs, fish eggs, yummy, yummy fish eggs. These can be hatched at the fish farm. If hunting isn't a viable option, try getting ingredients from the fish farm. There's always fish in the fish farm. Oh. Come on, just wait a day, Dave. I'm sure a new fish will be waiting to greet you tomorrow. Okay. So there's our new thing we can do. But I think that's good for now. So I'm gonna go. I will be back tomorrow to do more Splatoon. Only one more week until we get the new side order DLC, which is gonna be sick. Um, yeah. Do you have any suggestions, Reshi, for someone I should uh, raid at this point, or can I just <laughs> can I just go? Just gonna enjoy the music for a second here. Wazd underscore gamecom. Let's check that guy out. Or no, it's not com, it's corn. Game corn. Like seed corn, but more. Hardcore, I guess. Oh, it is supposed to be calm? Then I will change that after I put it in here. 
it fixed it automatically for me. I copy pasted corn, and it's like, do you mean was Gamecom? There he is. All right, I'll send y'all his way, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Bye for now.